Truth about AGH peptides. What no one tells you. Are these peptides the real fountain of youth or just another scam? Everyone's talking about peptides right now. Your favorite influencer swears by it. Your gym buddy says he's on it. But nobody's telling you the full story. And here is the truth. You can inject all the Samorlin and Tasamorlin you want. But if you don't understand how this peptide works, what they actually do inside your body, you are not optimizing your hormone. You are just wasting time and money. And worse, most people using them are doing it wrong. So today, we are breaking down the real science of AGH peptides. How they can completely change your energy, body composition and aging process when done right. And why 90% of the people are sabotaging their results without even knowing it. Let's go deep. This is the truth they are not telling you. Before we even talk about Samorlin or Tasamorlin, you need to understand growth hormone itself. AGH peptide isn't just about getting jacked. It's about cellular repair, metabolism and recovery. It's literally your body's youth signal. When you are 18, your growth hormone pulse is 5 to 6 times a day. But by the time you hit 40, it's almost flatline. And that's why people say, I am tired. I can't recover properly. I'm gaining fat. It's not age. It's decline in AGH signaling. Your skin looks dull, your energy tanks, and your body starts storing fat instead of burning it. And that's where peptide comes in. Because here's the thing, you don't have to inject growth hormone directly. You can wake up your pituitary to start producing it again, naturally. And that's where peptides like Samorlin and Tasamorlin comes into play. So let's start with Samorlin, the original AGH secretagogue. Samorlin is not the actual AGH. It's the GHRH analog. That means it mimics your body's own natural growth hormone, releasing hormone. In a simple terms, Samorlin doesn't give you AGH. It tells your brain to make more. And that's what makes it safer, smarter, and more functional medicine aligned than injecting growth hormone directly. Here is what happens when you do Samorlin right. You restore your body's own hormone rhythm. You release AGH in pulses, not floods, so you don't shut down your pituitary. You stimulate fat loss while preserving lean muscle. And the results? Better sleep, better recovery, more energy, and leaner body composition. In studies, Samorlin has been shown to increase IGF-1 level by up to 30 to 50% naturally over a few months with improved recovery and sleep. Now let's talk real life. When I have patients start on Samorlin, I tell them, you are not going to feel a jolt. You are going to feel a reset over three to four weeks. You start noticing deeper sleep. Then recovery improves. Fat around your belly, the stubborn cortisol kind starts melting. You wake up with more focus, energy and drive. Not from caffeine, from the cellular regeneration. Samorlin works best for people who are over age of 30, have sluggish recovery, feel rain even after getting long sleep, or wants to preserve muscle while losing fat. And the best part, because it's not exogenous AGH, your natural production keeps improving, not shut down. It's like reminding your body how to be young again. But here is the catch, and this is where 80% of the people go wrong. They inject Samorlin at the wrong time. They don't combine it with strength training, sleep optimization, or amino acid support. They think it's the magic shot. Then they say it didn't work. That's like watering a dead plant without giving it sunlight. You have got to fit the system. Protein, resistant training, low sugar, proper circadian rhythm. That's the soil. Samorlin is the water. You get both right and you'll see why you call it functional medicine's fountain of youth. Now let's talk about the big gun, tesamorlin. This isn't your average peptide. Tesamorlin is clinically proven to reduce visceral fat, that deep, dangerous belly fat that wraps around your organs and destroy your metabolism. Unlike samorlin, which act as a gentle wake-up call, tesamorlin is more targeted. It's modified form of GHRH designed for stronger, longer lasting pulses of growth hormone release. That's why studies, including a 26 weeks clinical trial, found that tesamorlin can reduce visceral fat by up to 18% while preserving lean muscle mass. What that means? 
you lose the dangerous fat, not the good stuff, your muscles. So what's the difference between Samorlin and Tessamorlin? Here is the breakdown. Samorlin is more gentle, natural pulses, ideal for energy recovery and sleep. Great long-term anti-aging support. Can be used nightly. Whereas Tessamorlin is a stronger growth hormone release, faster visible fat loss, works best in short cycles, about three to six month cycles. Clinically proven for visceral fat reduction. Slightly higher cost, but is more potent. So in a simple terms, Samorlin restores, Tessamorlin reshapes. That's why I often tell my patients, if you want to feel young again, start with Samorlin. If you want to look young again, Tessamorlin might be your move. But remember, neither of these peptides will do the work for you. They are amplifier, not magic. You still need the foundation, strength training, good sleep, high protein nutrition, and stable blood sugar. That's how you unlock their real potential. All right, here is where it gets fun. If you really want to level up, you can strategically combine this peptide. Here is the simple breakdown. And this is what I do with a lot of my patients. Phase one is the reset phase. Start with Samorlin nightly for eight to 12 weeks. Focus on sleep, stress, circadian rhythm, add strength training, and optimize amino acid and protein. Phase two is the sculpting phase. Introduce Tessamorlin 0.5 to 2 milligram daily for three to six months. Keep resistant training and increase protein intake. Add mitochondrial support with NAD injections, CoQ10, L-carnitine, most important omega-3s. And phase three is the maintenance phase. Cycle off of Tessamorlin, continue with Samorlin for maintenance. Make sure to regularly do your blood work to monitor your IGF-1 level, prolactin, and insulin sensitivity. That's how you get long-term sustainable transformation, not just the temporary dopamine hit. We are not chasing quick fixes here. We are chasing function, vitality, and longevity. Let's get real for a second. This is where most people and even some clinic mess up. Peptides are powerful, but if you overdo them, you can desensitize your pituitary. That means you might blunt your own natural growth hormone release over time. If you stack too many peptides or combine them with exogenous age, you are basically sending mixed signal to your brain. And that's how people end up with joint pain, water retention, or even insulin resistance. Functional medicine isn't about blasting the system. It's about rebalancing it. That's why I always say, test, don't guess. Track your IGF-1 level, blood sugar level, liver enzymes, prolactin level, and inflammatory markers. Because data keeps your process safe and sustainable. Let's step back from a science for a second. Most people don't start peptide because they want abs. They start because they have lost their spot. They are tired of feeling tired. They misses their drive, their focus, their energy, their reflection in the mirror. And when you finally start feeling like yourself again, when you wake up and your body listens to you, it's not just physical, it's also emotional. You remember who you were before stress, age or hormones took over. And that's why peptide, when used correctly, are so powerful. Not because they are magic, but because they remind your body how to heal itself. That's what the functional medicine is all about. We are just scratching the surface. Research now shows peptide could support mitochondrial health, brain regeneration, and even repair heart tissue after injury. That's why this space is exploding. Because we are learning how to activate the body's own pharmacy. But here's the bottom line. It's not about chasing anti-aging. It's about pro-living. Feeling young is the side effect of living right. So if you have been curious about Samorlin or Tessamorlin, here is my advice. Don't just order them online. Don't guess your dose. Work with the provider who understand hormones, metabolism, and functional medicine. Because when done right, peptide doesn't change your body. They change your life. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe, drop a comment and share it with someone who needs to hear that truth. And if you want to dive deeper into optimizing your hormones, mitochondria or performance the right way, visit one of the MyFitMed location here in Texas where medicine meets function. Stay strong, stay sharp and I'll see you in the next video.